Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play Left 4 Dead 2 in 3D in VR using Helix Vision. Now, thanks to Bob, he made a fix for this game. It was not working in VR, but now it is. And this is using a custom 3D fix for this game. So what that means is that the shader hacks are already in here. So this is the best 3D performance and quality you can get for this game, even higher than what you'd find in Vorpex. Now I'm on a 1060 GTX, so I'm very limited in what I can do. Uh, I do have this at 1920 by 1080 resolution. And my advice for getting this to work with Helix Vision, let's go ahead and start and I'll just talk while I'm uh, now I'm going to go offline mode just because uh, I'm pretty certain there's no issues with getting a VAC fan or anything like that. But since it is a hack, I'm just going to go ahead and go offline and play with the bots. And let's go ahead and do Dark Carnival. So the way you get this game to work with Helix Vision is all you do is you go to th hacker mode or also known as 3D vision mode. The Left 4 Dead 2 profile is already in Helix Vision once you go into settings and change it to 3D Vision or Hacker Mode. And all you have to do is make sure the game is working fine in Pancake. Um, make sure it's full screen mode. You want to turn God down it, man. Look at this the film road, grain. Man. We could have made it too. The road's blocked now. Sorry folks, I can't drive over a traffic jam. Don't sweat it, Ellis. At least you got us out of that mall. Yeah, Ellis. That was some good driving. Now, I'm on the latest NVIDIA drivers on my 1060 GTX. And... That's because of the swing hack, so Helix Vision has gotten some updates recently. Before, you may have seen some of my videos, and I talked about being on 42531 NVIDIA drivers. Shit, I used to go there when I was a kid. Oh, good. Now we can but that's no longer adults. the case. So now I'm I'm on the latest Nvidia drivers for my 1060 GTX, uh, and it does what's called a swing hack. So Reload. that automatically dials back. Oh man, my aim's terrible. So it does a swing hack, which automatically rolls back your drivers to 42531. So you can play on the latest driver, and the game will automatically roll it back while you're playing with Helix Vision. And so the only thing you need to do, like I said, is, is go to 3D Vision mode or Hacker mode. Once you go to 3D vision mode, hacker mode, all you have to do is find the profile. Like I said, make sure it's full screen mode. Make sure you turn the thumb brain down and just install the 3D fix and play in VR and it should work. Reloading. Now there is some discussion on the forums about NVIDIA super cards and NVIDIA 3080, 3090 cards maybe okay. not working since I don't have those. Can't really say what the up update status is for those cards. Uh, but I do know, like, on the normal 1080, 1060, even the normal 2080 that's not super, it should work fine without any major issues. And they are working on getting it to work on the 3080 and the 3090. I don't know about the super, so <laughs> I guess that depends on demand or how big of an issue that is. But uh, it looks really good, uh, especially for an old game. You know, I'm not going to say this is the best 3D I've seen in VR. But it works pretty good, and I was hoping to get, well, shoot, let's just, let's just keep going. Hey, it's just bitter! Here. 
All right, so let's get serious about the game. Now. <laughs> I think I've been talking too much and not really focusing Down this off -ramp. on the game. But yeah, the 3D looks good. Not, I wouldn't say it's great, but it looks really good for a game this old. Um, obviously, this game was not built for 3D VR. <laughs> Searchlights. That's the first sign of life we've seen in a hundred miles. Reloading! Whisper in Oaks Motel. I know where we are. Reloading! So I don't want to play too long, so I'm just going to go through this section pretty quickly. And the only real issue is the 3D depths, and you know that's not like a big problem with 3D. With anytime you play a game in 3D, especially one not meant for 3D, you might have issues with 3D depths, and that's to be expected, I, I would say. Let's try to set the floor. Smoke around these parts. Smoker! Heads up! Hey, look out! Hey, I'm reloading! Through 
Everybody, back down the street. Reloading. Got a hunter. Hey, watch your footing. This gully looks steep. Reloading. I hear wit grind. No light. We're about to take this shortcut. No, no, no! That was a nice shot. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Woo! Whoa! Whoa, oh, whoa, shit. hey! Whoa! <laughs> That looked pretty oh, cool in yeah. 3D in <laughs> Better not shoot that car. Reloading. Gotta reload. Reloading. Safe house in there. Okay, not that difficult. At least not the first part. <laughs> Double close the door. Whisper it Oaks! We made it. So yeah, that's Left 4 Dead 2 in 3D in VR with Steel Vision. I do recommend it. I do find it more pleasurable to play in 3D versus Pancake. And it's an easy 3D fix. So anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.
Goodbye.